Hi there, welcome to the Ecofina Financial Channel. My name is Philip, and today we'll be taking you through. Uh, we'll be trying to uh, dissect uh, the operational guidelines released by the Central Bank of Nigeria on the operation of the electronic Naira, uh, simply called the e Naira. Um, you recall that um, the Apex Institution, the CBN, uh, had earlier banned cryptocurrencies in Nigeria and stated immediately after uh, that they were working on releasing a digital currency. And uh, now uh, the CBN has released guidelines uh, and issued it to banks on how this would um, work um, and is expected to start in October. Um, one thing that is important to note is that this would involve retail customers only at the moment. Uh, as the director of uh, monetary policy at CBN, Dr. Hassan Mahmoud, has stated that corporate customers will not be involved in the initial phase uh, of the implementation. Uh, but we try to look at the guidelines to see, you know, uh, what it is all about and if it is um, it can be compared uh, to cryptocurrencies or in essence uh, bitcoin which is one of the most popular cryptocurrencies um and one of the things we see is that the naira will be a digital currency yes uh, but we have the same value as the naira uh, there won't be any difference in that uh, in fact the value of the naira uh will not uh, be different uh, from the value of the naira uh, itself uh, which means that the economic fundamentals uh, will still be critical to, determine, to the determination of the value of the Naira. So the introduction of the Naira will not necessarily or will not in any way uh, lead to the appreciation of the Naira. Uh, it would not. Um, it would just maintain the same value. It will still be, uh, value, uh, the value of Naira will still be determined by probably the import and export balance and every other thing. So it's just going to work um, exactly the same way. And uh, when you look at how it's going to operate, uh, it's still the same, um, you know, participants uh, in the Naira that would still be involved. Uh, so the CBN will still act as the monetary uh, authority, uh, while the financial institutions, of course, will still work as the licensed financial institutions. Then you have the consumers, the businesses, the merchants, and the retail customer. So really, if you look at it critically, um, <clears throat> you can't really see uh, what benefit this really would bring uh, to the Nigerian economy, uh, for instance, because the Inaira is not substantially different. Again, probably the only benefit would be that the cost, which uh, the cost of transfer, uh, will be significantly lower uh, under the Inaira than it is. Uh, with the uh, under the mobile money uh, or electronic transactions that are common nowadays. Uh, but you know, for me, it looks like an additional layer in the electronic banking process, especially when you look at that it's going to be created independent, independently of the bank accounts people already hold. So, except probably there's something um, fancy about holding the electronic Naira. It doesn't look to be uh, anything different. It's just an additional layer. That means, oh, if you want to open an Inaira account, then you open it separately, uh, which, of course, doesn't seem to be uh, different. Uh, and when you look at it, really, um, you know, cryptocurrencies are controlled uh, by various entities in a decentralized um, network. Uh, but this uh, digital currency uh, by the central bank, of course, will be controlled by the central bank, uh, which is a single uh, authority. So I'm trying to figure out how this will really appeal uh, if that is what the CBN has in mind to those who currently are interested in cryptocurrencies. Now, the e Naira will not bear any interest. Um, no matter how, as far as we know, the e Naira will not bear any interest. And, you know, the real major reason why people buy Bitcoin is really because of the returns. And nobody is, not many are buying Bitcoin because they want to keep it as a store of value. No, I think many buy Bitcoin because they are expecting it to, you know, increase in price and then they can make some huge returns of it. So returns is the major driver, really, of people who hold Bitcoin. 
And that the Naira is not going to do that. It's not going to appreciate. It's not going to have the, I don't know, volatility of the Bitcoin uh, space. Which, oh, it might look like, but that's not why people, those who buy Bitcoin buy it for the returns. So it's difficult for me to see how somebody who currently, you know, buys Bitcoin or is interested in Bitcoin will be interested in the CBN digital currency. Uh, but probably there are some things we don't know yet um, about how it's going to operate. And uh, maybe it might be attractive. Um, but yet, as of now, from what we know, uh, it doesn't look like it. But of course, more details will be revealed, especially as it comes into operation in October. Uh, and then we'll be able to understand it better. If you know how the, the, the um, digital CBN Naira uh, is going to operate uh, differently from the Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies in general, you can let us know your thoughts in the um, comment section. We can't seem to see um, how it will be attractive to those who currently buy uh, cryptocurrencies. And in fact, we can't see how different it is from the normal electronic banking we have right now. But let's hear what you think. Share your thoughts in the comment section. And remember to subscribe to the channel uh, for updates on happenings in the global economy. See you next time.